Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen, Hi. the outdoor version. Mm -hmm. We're outside. It's a mucky, Yay. nasty mess. Last time, our last show that we aired, and it was a week or two behind, it was single di digit temperatures. Yeah. Now it's almost 70 degrees. Isn't that nice? So when this airs, you'll think, yeah, that was last week. I remember that. Because it'll probably be another blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> There's supposed to be. Tuesday is supposed to be All another. Right. We're getting there, though. We're you shaved your beard, which means spring is here. That's absolutely going to make that yes. happen. Yes. You shaved yours. I shaved mine. <laughs> <laughs> and we're good to go. All right. Here it is. That wasn't nice. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Here it is. Beautiful, almost 70 degree weather. But you know, the planting season is just around the corner. Something we want to do tonight is we're gonna build a compost compost bin. Now, I remember when I was a kid, I would get ready to throw uh, a leftover salad in the trash or the eggshells or assorted this, that, or the other. Mom said, no, 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 that goes in the really? compost pile. Oh, so she we had never a compost did that. pile. That's neat. Now, what is a compost pile? Well, it's vegetation for the most part. It's, it's a kind of a, a fine mix of things that you have that eventually turn to that product which you put on the garden. Really? Which is your natural fertilizer. Now, we raise sheep. Obviously, a lot of people say, hey, I love your goats. These are sheep, these are Katahdins. Look up Katahdin, interesting breed. They're hair sheep. Now, supposedly, the goat's tail goes up, sheep are down. Now, okay. that's, that's that one way sense. that you can yeah. tell. Now, hair sheep, are sheep that you don't have to shear. They naturally shed their coats. I like so that. that's what kind of that's why we sheep that we have. Now, as we are having lambs, and you've seen Moo Moo and Michael <laughs> as of, as nice of names. last week. Yeah. Um, the grandbabies name those. We have them inside the barn. Right. Well, while they're inside the barn on the straw, they're doing their business. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna take their business and put it in the compost pile, the straw and the duty as well, that as we turn it over and mix it, what you want with a compost pile, it's a, almost a living, breathing science experiment. Hmm. So you have this dry and wet, green and brown, and you continue to turn that over. You also want it to be moist, so you're gonna check it out every now and then. You might have to spray a little water on it. You want it moist, but you don't want it soupy. So you have this blend of this stuff that's naturally rotting. So we take our leftover trash that we normally put in the trash, like celery or eggshells. So the wet stuff. Kind the of wet it. stuff. Now we don't obviously don't want to put like um, fish or something right. smelly to attract animals. This is all vegetation. Normally we should have had our bin going a long time ago. We're way overdue, but we're kind of learning with our garden that we want to kind of. You don't have to have as much space if you're smart about where you plant things and what you use for fertilizer. But while we're out and about, hopefully the rain won't be a pest today. We've got a hot pan over here. Here's what we're gonna do. Ribs. Yum. Ribs. I like ribs. On the Dutch oven. So today's cowboy cooking segment is easy ribs with a kick. As we travel and meet different people and they find different ways that they show us how to do things. Richard McAllister recently did a chicken. Mm -hmm. Remember that? He used the vegetables to actually stack the chicken on good. to create that airflow underneath it. The vegetables ended up absorbing the chicken fat and tasting absolutely mm -hmm. wonderful. Everything was great. So today we're having real ribs. We're gonna take these onions and we're gonna cut them in half and we're gonna actually use those as a little cooking rack to set the ribs on. Oh, good idea. Uh huh. So underneath that, we're going to have some beer. I think we got a dark sweet beer. We're going to put underneath that to have that steam and all that stuff's cooking. You have the flavor of the beer, the flavor of the onions. We're going to take these ribs, we're going to peel off that bottom membrane with a paper towel like we do. Then we're going to take a little bit of mustard so it will hold our rub and we're going to put all over it and it seal it a little bit too. Then we're gonna take our favorite dry rub, one that I have made. Should I give them a recipe? Mm -mm, that's a secret. Ooh, that might be a secret. And our barbecue sauce, we're gonna take that, set it on top of the onions, close her up. You remember the 350 degree combination? 17 on top and eight on bottom. Very What good. do I win? You win a chance to help me build a compost bin. Wow, you're not gonna feed me? I'll feed you eventually, okay. but that's gonna take a little while. Now what okay. we're gonna do, 
is about two hours and 15 minutes. We're going to check these. Okay. Now I'm hoping the rain will hold off and I'm, the wind's not blowing too bad. We may have to replace some charcoal on there. Keep an eye on that. Now, a lot of times when we get busy like this, we tend to just grab and go. We may even not have any sides with this. We may be total carnivores today. We have onions. We got onions. We can eat some onions. All right. One more thing. In desserts of old, I remember grandma's cooking with molasses. Right. And we wanted to do a molasses related recipe because I remember having molasses cookies when I was mm -hmm. a kid. So you came up with this concoction called molasses coffee cake, correct? Yep. Oh my, the house okay. smelled like, uh, it's like one of those candles. Yeah. It smelled too good to be true. So we can't eat it, we just smell it. Yeah, we're not going to eat that until you look the other way. Okay. So we're going to have that tonight as well. We're going to go in the cabin when it gets dark and we can't see anything and do anything else out here. But in the meantime, we're going to go start looking at some materials we got. We've got some leftover boards. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be any particular size. You may have a small garden. You may only plant with pots in your house. Speaking of that, this is a good time of year to start thinking about planting all kinds of things. We have on the front of our house, our house was designed to be a passive solar house. It has glass in the front and it also has stonework in the back. When the sun is shining on that south facing part of the mm -hmm. house, those rocks stay warm. They used to give green tours out here at this home. It's very well designed. The guy who uh, actually designed this lives right up the road. Very smart individual. Yeah. Geothermal, the whole deal. But with that south facing, with those big windows, it's a perfect place to set some plants out. That's right. And keep a humidifier going in mm -hmm. there. Today we're going to show you how, just how simple it is. You see us in the summertime and in the springtime, and even now, right. when we want fresh rosemary or fresh basil or fresh oregano. Have now, we've own. picked it pretty hard up to this point, right? but it's time to start some more. Now, this year, we're probably going to start planting that stuff everywhere because we're using that more and more. Yeah, we you are. You have your own stuff, and it's fresh and right in front of you. You smell it. When you walk into the front there, and it you smells smell so that good. stuff. Oh, it's like heaven. All right, you want to help me build a bin? I sure do. No, we'll you learn. don't. Okay. <laughs> Smelling, right? Smells good. Would you How do you like your ribs? Falling off the bone. I promise you, with all that moisture in there, with all those onions, all the moisture, all the convection cooking, that these will fall off the bone. Did you peek? Nope. Really? I just know. Okay. Two hours and 20 minutes, roughly. Okay. You ready? Can we eat? You want a little barbecue sauce on yours? After yeah, I do. Out. I do. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go over here, pull the top off. Okay. I'm going to grab these. I'm going to put them on this plate, and we're going to chow. All righty. Dig? Uh, sounds good. All right, you ready for this? I am. Oh, wow. Wow. Ooh, we need the onion, too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, my goodness. Now, I've got to get over the whole thing here. Why? Because they'll fall apart if I don't. Perfect. There's no doubt about these. Those are, look delicious. Done. Now. Mm. What about an onion? I want an onion. How about a couple onions? Those onions are falling apart. <laughs> oh, that looks good. You think it's worth eating? Oh, I better try it. You probably shouldn't try it. Yeah, I'll probably just watch you. Okay. Look at here. Did you hear me say wow. anything about the falling apart? Watch this. Oh, goodness. Look at that. It's mm. falling apart. That's what you want. You don't even need a knife. Look at that. It's just coming apart. Wow. Look at that bone just fall out. Can I try it? You can. Good. <laughs> well, you know, they're going to be moist. Look at that. Look wow. how moist they are. They're going to be moist from all that moisture in there. Oh, wow. Delicious. It's amazing. <laughs> Best ribs? Mm-hmm. The onion's amazing. Try the onion. It's very hot, though. Be careful. That's not an onion. That's our shelf. Oh, okay. The shelf you made is delicious. Is that good? or? Oh, wow. Wow. No dry ribs here. Yeah, it did yourself. These are really good. Those might be... I fixed a lot of ribs in a lot of different ways, and smokers, this, that, and the other. Those might be my favorite ribs. These are the best I've ever had. Good job. Look at you. You know what? Now, even though I could eat every bit of this, I'm going to save a little bit of room for you. Molasses coffee cake. You always have room for dessert. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. That never really has coffee in it, right? Yeah, it has coffee. So it's really a coffee cake. Yes, it is. 